Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the very first episode of Rock and Token Talk and Sunday Sabbath with my great co-hosts Ben and Steve, and of course me, Kelly V, the Pop Pixie. This is a very special episode. I am so very, very honored. All of these hearts have done so very, very much with me and for my work and my cause, and I love them all very, very dearly. And all the new people we got to meet in their great new project. So thank you so very, very much to the incredible Tony Dolan. I love you so much. Thank you so much to John Gallagher Raven. You've been such an amazing friend. I love you so much, and you're just hilarious. And thank you very, very much, of course, to James Murphy. All of you are great inspirations to me, and the wonderful new people that we've met through Sabatinaria, and our great first episode of Rock and Token Talk and Sunday Sabbath. Thank you so much, everybody. Please like and share and support. So grab whatever you got, a joy and a glass of wine, a cup of coffee, sit back and just grab a good chair and enjoy the best interview ever. Love you all so much. Kelly V. We're going to get right to it right now. Everybody, oh, hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Can't see. Oh, there you are, Roy. How how are you? Um, wow, there's five people here. Um, there we go. There's Jimmy. What's up? There's Fry. Hey, how are you doing, brother? Hey, good to Hi. see you, beautiful people. Yeah, oh. nice to see. Hey. Hi, <laughs> chill, Mark. Hey, how you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, all good. Still alive. <laughs> well, welcome to uh, the first episode of Rock and Token Talk in Sunday Sabbath. We're still waiting on a few other people to join in. This usually happens. It takes about five minutes for everybody yeah. to uh, connect and like <laughs> say who they are and stuff. So um, we're even waiting for my original Sunday Sabbath co-host. So Jimmy Mitchell um, is... Uh, my other U.S. co-host, he's a solo <laughs> shredder. Uh, Roy Stegman is the man behind all of our events and everything I do online. Fra, yeah. why don't you introduce yourself and Mark and tell us what you do. Okay, Mark, you start. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm the drummer in um, Acid Rain. Um, wow. I also play for a new wave of British heavy metal band Fist and um, my own band, Synthia. I also used to be the drummer in Empire of Evil, which was uh, with Tony Dolan himself and right. um, Mantis from Venom Inc. Right. Uh, go ahead, Fra, and we'll speak more oh, well, on that in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I'm a bit of outsider because I play in a band called Speedwell Front, and actually it's like kind of a neo-folk, like Morriconian kind of band but i'm a i'm a heavy metal dude since i was a little kid and always been and always will be and uh well i you know i just work on this with tony and mark and everybody involved and here we are i think good music is good music brother from whatever genre i get a lot of flack from my metal hardcore fans saying oh you can't listen to reggae you can't listen to this but no you should whatever has soul man i know when it says user's yeah. iphone because i can see everybody's window that john gallagher is about to pop up cool uh yeah so i'm not sure if tony can make it but john should be here james murphy was invited as well so hopefully he makes it i think um what time is it where you guys are at, Mark and Bra? It's uh, 10 p.m. for me. <laughs> 11. This is 11 in Rome. See? Yeah, this is so PM. confusing yeah. to me, trying to organize yeah. all these interviews from around the world, man, in the, uh, yeah. the times. Um, Tony Dolan has been an amazing supporter to me. He's donated to... Um, my online events he's done some really incredible things same with john gallagher um and it all stemmed from meeting lips has any of you worked with uh anvil 
Do um, what? No. Well, no, no. No, I can't say so, no. No. No, no. Okay. So this project with Tony and all of the people that I knew, and when he was saying he was doing this wonderful project, I was like, we have to get everybody involved. So what is it um, about? Is it COVID relief? Well, it's uh, like exactly one year ago, like um, when all this started. Um, yeah, me and Tony, we, we did we did a video like playing all in the sky, like during the quarantine, like beginning of the quarantine times, because everything started like uh, mainly like it started before in Italy, like in Italy started like you know, before everyone else, more or less. So we were locked down and then like we started doing this cover with Tony, like this all in the sky, the Black Sabbath song. And then after that song, like, you know, Tony, me, like all the other friends like playing that song, they were like, why don't we play like, you know, entire like, you know, 10 songs like Black Sabbath and then no, okay. this started, this started. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how we started. Welcome James. Welcome, uh, John. How's it going? Where, how are Hi, you, James. brother? Hi, James. Uh, I'm, I'm, hey, uh, hey, everybody. I can't. I can't see everybody. I'm. All, um. There we are. There's everybody. Hello. There you are. Hello. Hey, how's it? How's it going? How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. So we're all talking. Right, we got... We're talking about your wonderful new project, and uh, so proud of you guys for doing this. Um. Our show has been COVID featured, right, Roy? This whole way yeah. along, you know, talking about the industry and what it's done to us. And it's heartbreaking, but I'm so glad you guys are doing something cool to to do with that. Yeah. Um, let's see. I don't know what, John, are hey you- Hey guys, I can't get my video on. Are you there? Oh. Wow. Yeah, well, yeah I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to do the video either, to be honest. No, it's no. There's no button for it. <laughs> I just see this stupid icon on the top corner, and I really don't look like that. So there you go. Well, <laughs> there... uh, you kind of have to tap on the screen, and oh. there's like a start video, stop video. Like, at, the, uh, so make... at the bottom. There it is. Oh. There it it's is. A... I found Yay! it. Yay! Yay! Yeah, tap, tap so the nice thumbnail and then press the start video deal hey. down there. John, hey, John. John, Mr. Murphy, Mr. how are you doing? Oh, Jody. Doing good, doing Jody's good. Are in, Jody's are in the hoose. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing, oh. James? You all right? Yeah, good, man. Doing great. Good, man. Good he's he's that looking fit. The, uh, the beard is insane. You're looking fit, man. That's good. Yeah, 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 man. yeah man. It's getting a little out of hand. So yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. So um, I think almost everybody might be here except for my other co host which is funny, but... Um, I uh, I uh, so proud of you guys. I know Jimmy. Um, you really want to go to Italy, right? This is where you you know into Europe and and explore into that. And um, yeah, at some point. These are some Come epic on. people to meet. You're right welcome, here. dude. You're welcome. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I cannot introduce you guys to a more humble heart. Jimmy has done so much. He's one of the most exceptional guitar players I've ever witnessed in my life. And he's humble and he's helped me so much. Like, so this is what's lovely about these platform shows is that I can get people from around the world to sit in their living room. You pro maybe some of you probably even have your pajama pants on. You know what I mean? You don't have to do much and just show up and meet each other and hopefully wonderful things transpire, right? Absolutely. That's the beautiful part of it. It's beautiful. I'm sorry to disappoint my heart. <laughs> I do have one question. How do you plan to promote this, this project given the COVID complications? Well, uh, I think that, that, yeah, James, you go, James, you go. Oh, no, no, I think uh, you're probably better suited to answer the, the question than I am. I, I just, I wasn't sure if it was directed at me or not, but no. uh, I think you're probably better suited. Well, uh, I think that like for everybody, you know, like 
this was a time like for us, like we were especially like, if I think about like here and everywhere else, like we were the one like, you know, just putting on a side like music and arts in general. It's like in Italy, like, you know, they don't even talk about it. Like when they, you know, when they talk about like helping, you know, some categories of stuff, it's like, they don't even mention like us, you know, or cinema or music or whatever. So I don't know, this was just like, you know, the right time, you know, to just, you know, rise and say like, you know, music and metal community can always like do something like good and beautiful, even, you know, in times like this, when sometimes like they're just putting on a side, like, you know, this is what happening. I don't know guys like around, you know, there, but here it's like, we're not even mentioned when it's about like, you know, like helps and like, you know, taking care of the workers or stuff. So, no, there's, um, there's no consideration whatsoever there at all. And the only good thing for us that's come out of this is, uh, uh, individually working on a music and collaborative doing stuff like this. Uh, it's Beautiful. it's so much fun to actually, you know, use these tools and reach out and talk to people and chat and, you know, hey, do you want to do this? I've had people drum this go, send me the craziest thing you can play. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so I'm waiting for that coming back from this so guy, Dave Good, who plays with... Uh, Frank Marino, this guy's nuts. He, he wants to hear something crazy. Okay, good. And do this thing with, you know, you and Tony, Tony Dolan, which is a lot of fun. And uh, when they say crazy, do they mean like play with your forehead or like your left butt <laughs> cheek or like something? Like, I mean, you, sir, will come up with something cuckoo more, 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 more cerebrally fun. crazy than physically crazy. I got yeah. you. I know. I, I know. I, but. I could throw the bass across the room and record that, but it's it's not really going to float anybody's. I might like it, but it won't float anyone else's boat. I think as a fan, that would be epic. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I listen to some pretty experimental music, so yeah, me don't too. Sell <laughs> don't sell yourself. Yeah, exactly. You know what? And everybody hates me for this, but I I listened to Yoko Ono today. It's her 85th really? birthday, right? And her performance is salt melts. But I mean. Um, that's weird. She's just weird. And I love her for being weird. And I hate her. I, ha I have three words for that. And I, I hate the quote Slayer, but I'm going to surgery without anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's wonderfully broken. She's the weirdest person on the planet. But what I hated was the minute the first photograph was put on the, uh, in the media as his partner, everybody said she's too ugly. <laughs> and I cried. I remember being young and just cried over that article and thinking, how ugly is the world? It's you know, <laughs> really like, you know, and then I heard how weird she was and I was like, oh, yeah. And then it's like, well, she got a lot of flack for killing the Beatles. But I mean, well, you know, know Janine. I, <laughs> it's always hey, a woman, isn't it? It's just delay the inevitable. <laughs> That's right. Janine. I was That's just you. talking to Janine earlier. You know, but the fact that <laughs> she has like almost 5,000 hits listening to her cat scream while she tries to do a poem is just unreal. Like, so, <laughs> I mean, people want to hear weird shit, apparently. So do yeah. it. Do something really weird. Like, if well, somebody it's, says... It's odd at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So it's, a, it's it. open for whatever, you know. Interpretation. It's the, it's the oral equivalent of having the banana duct taped to the wall. It is. It is. Oh, yeah. My know. assistant here does not appreciate cat screaming. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, um, it's just, it's just uh, a weird thing, I guess, being female related to the music industry. There's always mm. some issue with just the fact that you're female. Which is a focus of our, our interview tomorrow, but we'll we'll delve off that. Back to the project. What else are you guys working on right now, other than this project? Like with well, your I mean, kids? for me, um, you know, during the pandemic, I, I had to find something to kind of keep my creativity 
going, you know. Um, so for me, I just basically uh, learned how to record drums myself, which I never, you know, I've always wanted to do, but I never actually just pushed myself to do it. So I learned how to do that. And um, I've I have kind a of question learned... about that. Go on okay. then. So I don't know how to play any instruments at all. Okay. okay. And I want to write a song. But everybody says anybody who uses technology like that is a cheater, a fake, a fraud, or whatever. There's so much fucking snobbery behind. But I don't have 20 years to master, you know, six different instruments to play the song in my head. So is it a cheat? Uh, no, not really. No, not it's, really. No. I think, I think what, what the cheat so side of technology comes into is where everything's um kind of uh, what you call melodyne which is basically when you put everything perfectly in time so you know you sound robotic but any time in tune yeah. yeah exactly yeah you can you can tune voices to be perfect pitch um you know there's there's a lot of ways to kind of cheat with technology i mean you know pop music is basically what that is <laughs> the, the, a lot a lot of the time you know it's is it not the yeah. ideal to write the most perfect song possible? So is it a cheat? I don't think it's a cheat. Oh, you know? I, I, well, I do. I but I think, don't. you know, if you learn, if you use technology well, in a way to record yourself by uh, what talent you have, it's a different sort of ball game compared to if you use it to put yourself perfectly in, in tune. I mean, there's, there's people I like Jason Becker is a, you know, brilliant composer, and the, the, yeah. the guy's got ALS, and he's, he can't do anything, can't move, uses his eyes, yeah. uses a computer program. So exactly. that's the exactly. ultimate yeah. example of an artist using technology yeah. to make music. Exactly, and, I, and that I'm fits saying. in perfectly with what I was about to say about it, John, which is that uh, it's an absolutely acceptable to use all technology that you can as a songwriting aid, as an inspiration aid. But then, you know, you can do what Jason does, which is in large part the, the computer created parts that he generates when he's writing the song are replaced by actual musicians that he's in contact with, he's friends with, he's colleagues with and that uh, want to help him. And, and so by the time they we're hearing play. it, you know, the final product, we're hearing real musicians playing the, uh, the final result. And I think that's that's perfectly yeah, acceptable, of course, yeah. of course, because Absolutely. I it's have a, a compositional yeah. aid, basically, is what he's using it for. So yeah, that's fine. But when when bands are going out and using, you know, the Turd Polisher three thousand, uh, you know, it's a, it gets <laughs> yeah. to be a bit much, yeah. you know. Well, I, especially, I, I have a... especially live. I mean, you know, recording it's like a painting. You can put as many brush strokes on as you want, or redo it, rewipe it, turn it backwards, upside down. Yeah, you know it. The end result is the end result. So then, yeah. I'm well, not music. live and using those things. Well, anyone can push a button and walk away. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. But well, like, yeah, like, yeah. I used like, to say that about DJs all the time. They play, they play the space bar. I used to yeah, say that yeah. all the time. But it's like <laughs> you guys are saying, it's unfair about if, it if I'm disabled and I have this symphony in my head and I write it, there's no way I can get up on stage and play it. You know, and I don't just, know. You don't have to. You, you yeah. can get somebody else to do it or, you know, you can be the composer. It's, you know, that's creativity. If you've got yeah, something in here and you can put it somewhere else, well, great. Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what John mentioned before. And uh, that's what Jason Becker does. He, he composes with the aid of computers. He, you know, he, he almost has to do it exclusively with the computer. Uh, and uh, then he gets people to fill to replace those parts, you know, with, their own, yeah, you know, yeah. with either doing what he what he came up with or or their interpretation of it, and uh, you know that's that's a perfectly acceptable way to work. Now here's the problem though, and and maybe it's partly because of the uh, the rhythmic nature of music and 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 also just because you know we have a very rich history in metal. You know, not not as long as other types of music or heavy metal and hard rock, going back into the seventies. That uh, you know, <laughs> this music is guys in a room playing together. You know, that's that's what we're you know we were used to hearing for so many years, and in the last uh, you know decade and a half, two decades, it's become so prevalent to use what you call you know cheating tools to, yeah. and actually using it on the finished product. And and uh, it's it's like uh, a couple of the other guys here have said, you if you play it 
you know, into a, you know, onto a grid, which is, I think is absolutely fine to do. It's just like playing along with a, a really solid woodblock player or whatever. Um, but if you then take the results of that and you dissect it and conform it to the grid, which you can do these days with computers, and then you tune everything to absolute perfection. And so everything slammed 100% to a robotic grid tuned 100 perfection it, you know it sucks the, the life out of it completely and then the end result is what you know akin to video game music to my mind i call it laptop metal actually a, a term coined by my buddy uh sean glass some of you may know <laughs> laptop Ram, totally fitting, Ramses, welcome you just joined this is another member of your group i guess right guys mm -hmm. hello can you all hear me all right yeah, the Rasmus. Perfect. Hey, Rasmus. Hey, how's it going? Rasmus. Ciao, Ras. Cheers. Right. How's it going, dude? Sorry, I was late here. Um, I, in my head, I was sure it was 11 o'clock UK time, and then I checked the world clock, and all of a sudden, oh, shit. I'm late. <laughs> yeah, because we were having like this issue, like it was like yesterday, right? That, that, yeah. There's something, there's a one hour in between that we were losing somewhere. It's like, yeah. is it 10? Is it 11? Is it midnight for me? Because I'm like the latest one. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like late in time, yeah. like. So, and then you uh, don't know whether yeah. you know Brexit wasn't yeah. with the whole Brexit bullshit. You know, it's, it's an hour we're because gonna, of Brexit. We're not going to have the the change in hours now anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> and I'm one person. Yeah, Ar Arizona, I think, is the only uh, the state a state here uh, in the U.S. that doesn't do it. You know. <laughs> This really one state weird. doesn't do it. So oh, okay. Indiana doesn't do it. Like certain areas <laughs> oh, really? in Indiana. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. We did it like we last just keep, week. We should keep just going back every time. Just keep going back. Oh, well, so we get hour, younger. Just... Bless you. I like <laughs> it. it. We'll just I get like younger. It. We'll just do it later. Exactly. I love it. It's like we'll be Doctor Who people, time travelers. Just go back and be younger. It'd be great. Um, well, you know, we can old. we can decry the technology, you know, which is you know the subject we were on. You know, you can you can decry the technology, or you can use it to your advantage. And I, and I I would uh, make the case right now that taking advantage of modern technology is the only reason, the only way this project got done. Yes, you know? isn't we're, that beautiful? We're sending files around to each other, and you know, yeah. you know that, that doesn't mean you have to take advantage of. Uh, of all, you know, you have to conform everything to the grid that you have to exactly. tune everything to the nth degree. Exactly. But, I, you know, I, that, that's I, think I jumped a, in just on the point where you're talking about it. I really yeah. refer to that as Pro Tools bitch tight. Yeah. As usual, yeah. I refer to it. It's horrible. Yeah. Exactly. You, know, I guess you might have missed it, but I was calling it. Uh, I was calling it a uh, laptop metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, exactly. I, I totally agree with you, James. Like totally, hundred yeah. percent. But the thing is, like, even when you have like some files, like imagine, like you know, our case, guys. Like we had the files, and like we had the drums or whatever. Like, and then you can just be mad and like start like to just snap everything on grid and copy the parts and copy the verses and copy that one. It's like. No. what is that in the end like you know this is what we play like sometimes we make mistakes we are human right so if you want to like play as a machine you just play electronic music like you know yeah. the patch I mean, mode the thing is as well, <laughs> if you, when you guys... think about it this album <laughs> is dedicated to you know my, my favorite band of all time which is black sabbath and if you think yes. of black sabbath i mean did they have anything that was put perfectly to a grid and yet no, everything they you did know, was yeah. perfect, right? Everything exactly, they did yeah. was perfect. Yes. No, in, in fact, Tony this, Iommi this has, has a Tony Iommi, Tony has a degree of sort of looseness to his playing. A sort of I don't want to call it slop, but it's sort of looseness that uh, is just part of his playing. It's part of what we love about it, really. It's you know, because it adds absolutely. to the character. Yeah. You know, noticed... and it creates a character. That, that's why when I did the my solo for the War Pigs, I just you know, I just winged it. I didn't really, you know, I didn't care. I didn't look at grids. I didn't, I just played to the, you know, to the track. Yeah, and I, that's that's the, what makes this music wonderful. when it's done right so These... much different and better than everything else. Because if you play from the heart and if you play yes. spontaneously mm -hmm. and if you listen to what other people are doing and react to that and come up with new stuff that way, rather than everything is written out and I'm going to do this and do this. I don't know about any of you guys, but even when I'm recording, whatever I'm doing, singing or playing bass or whatever, it's, it's me. I, I know what I'm going to do. I will always try and do something different. 
every time. Awesome. There'll always be yeah. something. I where love like, your... It, maybe it works and maybe it doesn't. I love your daily... always quote. that 10, yeah. 15% at the very end where you, oh, try this, try this, try this, you know? I have, I just want to say something. We only got about 10 minutes left. The next interview in about uh, at eight o'clock, so an hour and a half, anybody's invited. It's a rare disease meets rock star episode where people are going to play. And Jimmy can't make that episode. And I was wondering if he would play like a very short little, he's itching to play. You can see him with his guitar there. So. <laughs> next episode in an hour and a half everybody who's who wants to join in everybody's going to be playing with lawrence the genius about lawrence and why i was talking about technology is this man is a human robot and when he when when he i share his music they're like that's a drum track even me and jimmy got into an argument of whether it was a drum track or, or i mean a guitar track or not and i sent him doing the live version of it like he's phenomenal. So I hope you all come to the next interview. But would you mind giving Jimmy like one minute to play something for us? Go yeah, for Jimmy. It, go for oh, it, okay, cool. It I honestly didn't expect to have to do that, but that's cool. Too I bad. Say, I put you on the spot and yeah, you did. Rock on. <laughs> metal just, man, metal. That's cool. Uh, no, actually, I agree with what James and everybody was saying earlier about recording because, like, you want to have it. You know, even though you've got all this digital, you know, these dolls and shit, you want to make keep it human. You know, even even if you are using like a looped drum track, like what I do to create songs, like yeah. when I shit sit around. I don't know if you'll hear this very well or not, but I'll try it. Let's see. Let's do it. So I'd like a loop, and I do this. Oh, I wish that sounded better. Yeah, just stuff like that. <laughs> oh, I wish, I'm nice. sorry. I saw you sitting there and I Good thought times. he was ready to go, right? So uh, I've been writing off and on all day, just basically, you know, fooling around with riffs and ideas and melodies and shit. Like, you know, I just doing stuff like that, just pivots and the great all thing. All the like well, it's like I said, you know, this technology is, uh, you know, uh, you know, drum machines, drum loops, whatever. It's, it's, you know, it's perfectly valid for performance as long as there's, you know, you, something human in there. You know, I mean, if you're one oh, guy yeah. performing, then you have to use some pre-recorded stuff if you're going to do like a one-man band type of thing. I've, I've seen and enjoyed those types of shows, but. Um, oh, so you've you been know, to Ed Sheeran, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not, not quite. But, you, know, hey, you got to also... give that man props. He, he's a talented fucking dude. I mean, you have yeah, to he give might him be, but you know what? But are you in love with his body? No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's I'll the thing. Some kind you can be in metal or rock, him. you don't have to be pretty. And if you are, for hmm. some reason, because I don't know why this is, it's 99% men in your audience, they don't appreciate the pretty boys. You know what I mean? It's like the. Uh, what are you saying you about look, me? The weird. <laughs> it's like I don't know what it is, you know. It's like you're allowed to look I was about to say, weird. I don't know. I've never, I've never felt unappreciated. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. But you know what I mean. Never you're... underestimate the power of the beard. <laughs> Does anybody kind of know what I mean, or am I just talking shit? Up my ass oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can look like Joey Ramone and be really successful. If he was a female, they'd be like, mm, I don't know, right? I don't know what Joey Ramone as a female would look like, uh, but with the well. same talent, he probably wouldn't have done nothing. Right? This is a loaded question. Who knows how much Kelly, makeup he would have worn, too. I know, right? <laughs> it's, a lo <laughs> yeah, it's a loaded question because if we answer something, so, oh, no, you can, and we, we pull up a female example, we're automatically... No, I mean there's Doing beautiful something very women bad in metal, in PC at that point. It, it, it's such a I'm hard thing, thing, you know. Yeah, and, you know and if you're it, a guy, it doesn't fucking matter what you look like. If you're a musician and you, exactly. if you have confidence it and if you play some good shit, you know, people will people will still like it. But it depends if you like yourself and you have the confidence. It's just it easier if you're a dude. Like. 
It's easier well, if you're a dude. Yeah, but I, I mean, I mean I, someone I, like... Uh, well, to me, like, I don't uh, know if you agree. I don't know if you agree right, to these guys, but, like, I was talking with a friend of mine, like, the other day, and, like, to me, for example, like, the most, like, iconic and the most, the greatest front of all time, frontman, I mean, let's say rock music of all time, it's an ugly dude, like, half English, half Algerian, what it was, Algerian, Freddie Mercury, right? You know, he's that, beautiful. Oh my that god, scene, I think he's so pretty. That scene oh when god. like in Wembley he's dressed like I don't know, I was dressed there, like the yeah, ugliest yeah, man yeah. in the world, like on the planet, and he's taking Wembley on his hand, like up and down like this. It's Look, like beauty what do you and do all that there? shit. That's all beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what do you it's think true. is great? So yeah, my it's like, it doesn't matter. Seen, what, what matters like, is what the music does for the people. When you hear so somebody yeah. talk yeah, about I think it's a circular conversation because I think we all agree. I think yeah, we, 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 all all agree. Agree. <laughs> we all agree. But when you say like some something mean, you listen to Janis Joplin, and and then you say uh, something about her looks and not her voice. Uh, that yeah, Janis Joplin wasn't the wasn't the prettiest woman by any yeah. means. It, it made no difference whatsoever. Her talent was just huge. So you know that's, think, that's what counts. Yeah, the it's true. It's talent. true. Yeah. It's yeah. true, but you guys don't really get judged on that, and I think the weirder you look, Are you the more kidding it helps. Me? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know. Let's tell you, I, I, I want to pull down. Now, John has yeah. all this lovely hair there, so he's got that shit. You know how many times I have to deal with that shit? Hey, man, you're metal, but you don't have hair, so you're not really fucking metal. <laughs> you have no I idea how many times I have to deal with that shit. I'm, I'm with you, Russ. I'm with you, Russ. Exactly. I did make yeah, the comment <laughs> last episode that the three things you kind of truly need to succeed in metal are a, a talent, right? Epic Check. pants and the ability to wear epic pants, be it spandex, <laughs> pleather, well, yeah. leather, yeah. kilts, whatever, and hair. And Tony went, Kelly. And he pulled off his hat and he went, Kelly. And I'm like, what is <laughs> ability not to have it? Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it does help. I love glam metal. So like hair metal is like, it's I was just fun. making that remark as in, it ain't that easy all the time. I know. I'm sorry, <laughs> brother. We don't mean to make it that way. We don't mean to make all it. Right, look, this is why I said I don't give a shit. If people like it, they want it, they're going to come and get it. You That's could it. go totally Steel Panther, and I love Steel Panther, and do the wig thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> just no. for one, no. one video. Do oh, it. no. <laughs> Oh no! no. <laughs> so if you're doing it for if you're doing it for fun, for you know why not? But you know those of us that either have the hair or don't, you know, it's just like we don't care. <laughs> it's a complex for me because I did lose all my hair to my condition, so I either have extensions or wigs, and I love playing with them. So hair is, you know, I I, I think the most important part of that though is the pants, the metal well, I pants. Kinda need to come back now just just, no, just so I, I got british away, pants I means okay. underwear just so we're all clear we're talking about the long trousers not the underwear right? yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah. we're talking yeah. about spandex pleather shiny yeah. you know yeah, that kind, that kind of fucking yeah. Yeah. Leg pants. yeah i think it was <laughs> the trousers he liked the trousers they, you could see everything nothing oh left God. to the imagination you know what exactly I mean? exactly and as the only female fan in the metal audience you know what i mean that's appreciated by the way well, I got, <laughs> yeah, I don't got forget this. the cucumber <laughs> what, I, I used to have very brown hair probably yeah. about the same color as john's and i i, I shaved my head one day because my brother had joined the military and i was uh being sort of in solidarity with him and I was tired of the tangle, so I shaved my head. And uh, when it grew back, it grew back silver. Different. <laughs> silver. Oh, he hey, stole dude, your at years. least it grew back, man. Take that. <laughs> at least it grew back. Oh, oh. That's the point. That's, That's the point. Like, when easy. it grew back. But like, you know what? If you have a bald <laughs> head, it draws all the attention. I used to have a mohawk, right? So it draws all the attention to your face. It's you know, and you're a very handsome guy. So, I mean, it like draws all the attention to your face, right? So, I don't know. I, I usually know. think it's my beard that does that, if anything, now. That and just the light <laughs> shining off this bald thing, blinding people. Like, oh, what was that? Oh, it's a bald guy. Okay. So, 
So is it, is it that like, guy was like, beard. Well, like yeah. us, Rasmus, really? like we got hair right here, like it's compensation. Yeah, like, no, got, it's 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 hair is, Brexit and exited yeah. down here. Yeah, which is you know, like, oh, upside down. <laughs> like, we got a hair upside down. Right here. Comes up yeah. the ears, the eyebrows get a little longer, yeah. right? <laughs> With age, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it just grows so up your ears. That's what happens. See, yeah. see? <laughs> yeah. and your nostrils. And you guys are so much fun. Do you have anything else you want to say about the project? Uh, uh, I, well, I'm I still really want to hear the final. I still want to hear the final article. I'm looking forward to hearing it. I'm okay, well, sure. Well, yeah. uh, I don't know Send if you've mentioned it. I mean, I'm sure it's maybe it's been mentioned, but you know, it's it's for a really good cause. And you know, yes. while we've all been in this fucking horrible lockdown and pandemic, and touring is shut down, and we can't get out there, and the governments generally think that we're the last important part yeah. of the, so the and opening. I want to say hey, uh, it is the rest- artist that changes the world. Look at what the Beatles did. Look at what every artist philosopher painter look at what they did to shape the sheeple we need this the fact they're not supporting you is the saddest thing on earth because it's what's going to heal us they haven't they haven't supported us for a long 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 time yeah you may be used to that from the outside world from from the fan we appreciate it more than you'll ever know oh we know that i I was curious if there was anyone here that was on the track with me it's um, also on on Warp. Yes. There's anyone? Yes, yes, the Mark. Yeah, your Mark is me and Fran. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> cool, yeah. cool. We are. And so uh, when Mark... mixed it is is the mixer here? Person he's oh, right there. The I, I can send you James. Like I can send it over. Like I, I'll send you. To, give me an email. I'll send you all the you know the final like record that we have done. Like are you? Can I have it? Did you mix it? Can I, I have mix it? it and then I, I went to this like studio uh, here in Rome. There's a friend of mine that works for a few bands like that. One is from Nuclear Blast. It's called Flesh, Bo- Flesh God Apocalypse. Sure. But he okay, got very that. nice stuff. He got like beautiful like machines like AQ compressor, like very nice stuff. So we just jump all the stems into that and make it a little bit like warm and then glue it a little bit, a little mm. bit of separation and everything. Sure, sure. So, so um, I'm going to send it over just you guys like, or you know, with Tony, like just send him an email and I'll send you like all the links to you. So if you want I would say we should that. all just buy it. I mean, I know we've done the yeah, work. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to buy, buy it. it if yeah. there's a link. I, I honestly um make no money from what I do and I'm so poor. I would love hey, to buy it. Hey, we're musicians. But... It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't even get a free t-shirt or anything for the, the interviews. I get nothing. I've got, you know, oh, anyways. But... Can I have um, a sneak peek at that? I promise I will not share it with anybody. No, of course, the- like you know, just give me an email. Like I'll send it to you. Like what's I've the problem? I've been so like, curious. We'll send all of you. Like there's no problem at all. But I got a question for everybody. Like um, you know, because uh, right here in Italy, like the situation for the people when, where Rasmus was saying before, like the situation for the people that works like in the, you know, just. Uh, cultural stuff like music or theater or cinema it's like no one is mentioned but i was over there like james like i was in the u.s or like rasmus and mark like i was in uk like and john was it what is happening there is there anyone well, like shouting something way, no oh, not really i mean nothing nothing, nothing. at all i, I, the, I did one hear of the things i saw June. was um sorry john no go ahead go know? ahead all right okay one of the things i saw um, was actually on the back of a bus um, yeah. that says there was a poster that said um, this Retrain. bus driver was a musician. Now he's now he's a bus oh, no. driver. No, no, and no. It was musician. He's a musician. Stepdad. And now he's a bus driver. Yeah. It was just like, no, was point, insulting us as if they're actually okay, these musicians. They can be okay stepdads. But, you know, <laughs> you be a musician now exactly. is going to be a bus yeah. driver. Because we have to retrain. If you're, Maybe you'll be a ballet dancer. That's, why not just that work was in the one security? I saw, the ballet dancer one. It's, it's hilarious. A ballet dancer. It's, it's so it's been insulting, been man. But this it's is just thing, been, you know, it, it's like, yeah. you think of music, right? I've spoken to so many people about this. You think of music, it is the most probably one of the most important things in the world um which you know always gets taken advantage of whether it's people who 
like the bands and stuff like that who download the music or whatever, or even the lack of support by governments or whatever like that. It's not seen as a proper job. <coughs> you know? Shame. And it's, it's, shame. It's, it's really sad, actually, you know, but yeah, because you know, they think is, you all make billions of dollars. Yeah. I mean, it's the strength <laughs> of the musicians who do things like this to collaborate, oh, to support other things for good causes that, you know, keeps keeps it going. It's about the creativity and, and the togetherness as musicians and uh, people, you know? I have one minute left before it automatically yeah. shuts off. I just want to thank you so much. And I don't know if you know, and all of you guys that are new to me, that I do battle rare and terminal diseases. And what you're doing right here, right now is um, helping so many more people than you realize. So I want to say thank you so much to everybody for doing the show today. I love you all very much, and I hope we stay connected. Looking forward to hearing this incredible collaboration. Thank you for sharing it with me. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye, Bye, Mark. Thank you, guys. Love you. Keep in metal. Keep in metal. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, everyone. Bye. Ciao, dear. Ciao, ciao. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the work behind the scenes. I really appreciate it more than you ever know. We would like to invite you to like, share, support, and be a guest on our show. Just hit me up on Facebook if you know who I am. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll leave some contact info right here. Kelly V, Pop Pixie. Thanks so much to Pyre Driver Records, Royce Stegman, for all your help behind the scenes, and Sister Kill Cycle. This is for Sex and Witchcraft. I made this. I hope you enjoy it.